All right, hello, and welcome back to My Crusader Kings 2 Let's Play as Serbia. I am synonymous Botch, also known as Kevin. We are playing as King Constantine of Serbia, because unfortunately his father died through a very short reign. So first things first, I want to wait the three years. I don't want to, I'm not going to do any wars, nothing like that, in the meantime. Uh, I'm going to betroth someone. Princess of Burgundy, that sounds okay. Yeah, having a Burgundian alliance would be nice, they're pretty big. But yeah, for the time being I'm gonna sit and sit around and wait for a while. Hold a feast. Give me some nice prestige. Um, I'll hire some fancy dancers. I need a educator. Uyghurik of Oderbarian Peasant Revolt. So there's a peasant revolt. That's what we all want, huh? Alright, so I'll meet up in Styermark. Crush this revolt. Had to cancel the feast. Great. Things are always going great for Pearl Constantine. I mean, he wasn't ever. I don't think. He was destined to be king eventually, but not now. Don't go in through Niederbayern. Slam in through Salzburg or Innsbruck. There's a Waldensian uprising in French Germany. Radka. She's from Bulgaria, I don't really care. I think one of my guys was married to her. Six thousand men are raid against one thousand. Two thousand, I suppose. Popular customs have gone up. French and the Serbians killing 
their peasants right across from each other. Vizarian. Is that a real name? That sounds like something from fucking Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones. Games of Thrones. New Marshal, Kadimir. That's a good name. Train troops. Rashka. Offer peace. Demand peace, in fact. Keep you in. Banish you. You have no right to live in the lands of Serbia. Resign these folks. Send them back to Rashka and get back to waiting for my coming of age. It's almost here. Oh, I must have just had a baby. That's good. I wonder what the Burgund Burgundians are up to. Oh, they're fighting the... Yeah, getting something taken from them by the Bulgarian, uh, the Byzantines. We got Novgorod and Kiev. As big, and the Tebs, I suppose, as big groups. We got a Magyar Revolution. Georgia's pretty big. Ugh, it's just so ugly up here. I want someone to come in and just eat all these fucking assholes that don't deserve to live here anymore. Dashavos can stay though, that's a cool name. And I've got nice borders, it's not super big and messy. Toulon the Just. Oh, it looks like Sweden finally took this fucking Umiad place back. That's good. I'm happy with what I have, sure. Hedge Knights, I will welcome the Hedge Knights with a lavish feast. I will uh, allow them to stay in the castle while they recover, sure. Content isn't that bad, I suppose. One more couple more months. It'll be all set up. I'll just have to wait for a wife. Then I can start looking out, out from my borders again. Got some allies in the Teutonic Order and the Knights Hospitaller and Sweden. It's 
so I probably don't want to go to war with King Berthold the Cruel for a little while. A few more months. A few more months. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. I was really worried when that happened, but I kept my realm generally content enough where people constantly want Bavaria, but other than that, they're not constantly clawing at my throat. Whereas I've seen other games where having a scenario like Constantine taking the throne at that young age would have spelled complete doom. He's got a club foot, but other than that, he's got some pretty good traits. Not a lot of intrigue, but I think that sort of runs in the family. Five, nine, zero, zero. <laughs> Pervoslav. Yeah, you have to go all the way back to Pervoslav to have a decent intrigue in the ruling kings of and that dukes of Serbia. Oh, no longer need a regency. I'm an underhanded rogue. Rough but decently effective diplo diplomat. That's good. Uh oh. Hopefully, sh when my wife comes of age and I marry her, it'll give me some more. For now, let's go and do rulership? Sure. That'll give me some more stewardship, which should help. Here, I'll pay the peasant out of my own coffers. Here, I've got some money. What can I build here? Castle Town, that'll give me more things. University. Sure, let's spend all of my money right away. I did not look at how much that costs, but hopefully it'll help me out in the long run. Stewardship and fertility. That's nice. Not gonna go up. I'll wait until she's old enough before handing out a county. Oof, there's a lot of wars going on around here. Tulanids are going to holy war for Crete. What is going on with the Byzantines? Oof. Let's see. Um, Sicily is having an independence war. I guess that's what Epirus is doing here. They're going to war probably because last I checked their emperor, yeah, their emperor is really terrible. Tulanids are, I guess I got it, wow. Crete belongs to the Muslims. Got a host war. It looks like they'll probably win these independence wars, but wow. And they're helping out the Italians, I guess.
Oh. This is going to be bad. Bestrina Vlastimirovic. When Ninoslav dies, will become the Duchess. When Duchess Agnes and Ninoslav die, she'll become the Duke of something over here. And since she's, she'll only have the county of Oberbayern, that'll become part of Asturias. That's annoying. Gotta think some of this stuff through more than I do. That beard is really bad. It's... There. Let's make you look like this. <laughs> Looks just like a 16 year old, right? Yeah. Guess the Muslims will be a big threat. Area just expanded up here, I think. Spice. Fucking Bulgarians. Maybe I should just go hard on the Bulgarians. How many allies do they have? The Despot of Sicily and Mate Sizak. Two more years. I'd have to start getting claims and just grabbing stuff out of there. That's really what I should do though, once I get a good ally. Because so I gotta do it once every, eventually, and having Bulgaria give me a lot of land to, to fuck with the Byzantines. probably do the theology thing where I go on a pilgrimage or something. I wonder when the next crusade will be. Ooh, an Abbasid revolt. I'm rooting for you, Sicily. It'd be really nice if you managed to pull it off. Charles of Burgundy is helping, huh? Castle Town has been built in prison. Oh yeah. I did do that, didn't I?
Come on, one more July. Kiev, huh? Polish? Orthodox? Feudal? Hm. Kiev might be the Poland of this world. Oof, Novgorod, that's not good. I was really happy for Novgorod, but it looks like they're having some issues now. I'm stressed. That sucks. Norge, who's Norge getting their ass kicked by? Lots of people. It's a mess up here. Cathar? Looks like there was a split up from Asturias and Lothian, so there's no Asturias up here anymore. It's good, I suppose. It's less is ugly. There's also an Irish revolt, which is not as good. I like the McCarthy family. Wow, look at this ancient man. No! Oh, good. I thought he was a, not a McCarthy. That was... Well, that's just his middle name that's fucked up. Oh good, he's gonna win. Uh, there ends the Byzantine War. The fact that he still has so much support. It's really mind boggling. Why does it have to be the one game where I want to do a goal that ends the Byzantine Empire? The Byzantine Empire has to be fairly damn strong. I don't know. I guess it takes them a while to f completely fall apart anyway. I wonder if the... I can't honestly remember if there's any sort of Fourth Crusade event. One more month and I'll have a marriage. Okay, I'll help you out, I suppose. And by help you out, I mean not really help you out. Well, Mary Tiberge. Get the 200 prestige. There we go. She gave me enough. Just like I was hoping. Can't call him to war for this war, but I'm imagining Carling Charles there will be. I'll be able to call him for other wars.
main characters are getting ripped apart. And that's kind of, they've lasted for a while. Navgrod is... attacking the Magyars or vice versa two other wars and then a bunch of raiders I see why this Italian war is taking so long now. Oh, Moray has gotten big. That's nice. An actual Scotland instead of a mishmash. Getting sieged. It's annoying. Carpathia, huh? Doubt I can form Carpathia. The monophysite faith is triumphant over the miaphysite. Well, I haven't done any spreading this episode, but I managed to survive. My young king is now... He's still a young king, but he's not a kid. He's got a wife. She's an ambition, I suppose. I have a son. Hopefully, even with my chase, I'll be able to get a son or daughter. She's lustful. So hopefully that balances it out a little bit. <laughs> well, as the new year comes in the year 1022. I don't know why it took me so long to figure out what to say there. But yeah, as the new year comes around in 1022, 
I'll end the episode here. So thank you for watching, and have a nice one, everybody.